So here is a, a better off-grid power supply rather than buying those uh, cheap you know, portable generators like most uh, new off-gridders do. Um, this is better for several reasons. Uh, one, inexpensive. I've got a $100 stationary motor. I've got about a $100 alternator. Um, I've got battery storage, so this can be used to charge up the batteries, and then you've got um, lights and maybe a small pump, you know, running off 12 volt, uh, even when the, the generator's not running. So, um, that's a good thing. You know, you may only have to run a gen, run this generator once or twice a day, you know, depending on what you're using for power consumption, but, you know, you may not have to run it that much. Uh, the alternators from the vehicle, uh, this one's seven, sorry, yeah, about seven to eight hundred watts, um, 63 amps, I think. So, um, you know, it's a fairly large amount of uh, charging capacity when you compare it to uh, um, you know, that amount of buying that amount of solar panels. Uh, so, yeah, this could be used with, you know, in conjunction with solar panels and other off-grid power sources like wind, hydro, whatever, so that when, um, you know, the, if you're not getting enough sun for whatever reason, you know, snow or bad weather, you can use this to top up your batteries and and you still keep, you know, you keep your batteries at a correct voltage and they last longer and, you know, you'll be able to keep using your lights. Uh, so it's really good for that. Uh, something else is that it's very easily repairable. Like even if you've got very limited um, mechanical aptitude, you should be able to either replace out a alternator, it's just a matter of a couple of bolts, or even replace the whole generator motor. Um, whereas with those, those uh, portable generators you buy, Pretty much once one part of it goes, it's uh, it's pretty much a throwaway job. It's not worth most people even repairing them. So, uh, a couple ways to use this. One, like I said, this is the alternator. It's got a regulator built in. It'll get your batteries charged back up to 14.5 volt very quickly, and um, then it'll quit charging. So, no need for another charge controller in that. So, you get your battery. Another way to use it, you can bring. So what I've got here is a small, it's only a very small inverter, and what that's doing is, um, you know, turning the 12 volts DC into 110 volt. Power supply. So once again, you know, you can use that to power lights if you want, although I do recommend for a small setup that you try to run your lighting you know, your house lighting off DC with all the LED bulbs that are available in 12 volt now. There's no reason to have to step it up to AC, to 110 AC. So, um, anyway, that's just my my thoughts on that. So, once, this is one really good way to use it. You've got a regulated um, alternator. But these alternators have a lot of other possibilities with them. And I'll include a little video, but this is my, what this is. So this is my portable welder. It's only a very light duty, but with some minor modifications to the inside of these alternators you can actually increase the voltage and you know so you I can make about a hundred volts of DC voltage so it's a little bit high and a little bit dangerous so you, know, you need to understand that but I can actually use this to weld with and I got I had one of these alternators uh, 
this is actually the same alternator I've got in my old off-grid truck and uh, I've got some video in there of me welding directly off my truck but uh, yeah. anyway so I'll, I'll try and include some of those videos of me welding um, I'm not going to show you exactly how to do it but you know, internal to these alternators you've got a rectifier block and you've got a uh, the regulator block is this piece right here, which the uh, the brushes are attached to. And by uh, hot wiring that regulator block, you can um, you know create a, a constant constant current, uh, and you can adjust it um, by the amount of voltage you put across those um, brushes into the rotor coil. Anyway. It's going a little bit too far, but anyway, it just I just want, to, want you to understand that there's other possibilities with these alternators. Uh, another possibility, you can um, actually do away with the uh, the um, rectifier block, which is that piece down there. You can actually create a 110 volt generator, AC generator. So I could have run small power tools like this or 110 volt lights, whatever. I could actually run that. Dogs are running around like crazy. I could have actually run that. I'll try and get them. Um, tools like that directly off the 110. Those dogs are just being nuts. That's the that's the better solution. Oh, I don't know if I already mentioned it, but uh, another thing that's really handy with this type of setup is it's repairable, and uh, you know, so it doesn't matter. You're not you don't have to be a really good mechanic to swap out an alternator. You go into an auto parts store and you know bring in your core, and they've probably got that in stock, and you just you know a couple of bolts on or off. Same with the, the motor. It's four bolts holding it down. Very easy for anyone to change out. So ease of repairability is another bonus.